Merrimack Games and Comics. Check them out on Facebook and visit their site at merrimackgames.com. What's up YouTube? Evan from Epic Duel Time here. So a lot of you have asked about uh, buying cards in the best way, cheapest way, most reliable way of buying cards. Um, online, that is. And um, I want to be able to give you guys some information, clear up some misunderstandings and misinformation, and be able to present you guys with um, some options and some kind of comforting solutions as to how you can make your next card purchase safe uh, and enjoyable, but also easy on your on your wallet. So uh, first thing I want to introduce you to is a, is a good hub of being able to find information and, and go places is tcgplayer.com. Now, I have personal, you know, things about tcgplayer.com that I, I don't particularly like. I think it's a very fluff-based website. Um, I don't think it's particularly useful for, you know, I would say the majority of Yu-Gi-Oh players. Um, however, I think that there's um, some real good to it. Um, and it's actually um, a couple things about it that I really like. First thing is, uh, you see, the latest tournament decks, they compile a fairly... A fairly good list of, of recent topping decks, especially uh, they compile regional decks, and, and um, I like that they include regionals and not just major events. Um, regionals are a big part of Yu-Gi-Oh, um, and I think that, that there's something to be said for that. Uh, and in trying to include, it, obviously they're not going to give you all of the top decks, but they try to sample a few of them or whatever information they can get. So um, let's actually go to what I'm going to talk about, which is where we hit enter store, top left. And this brings us to actual tcgplayer.com, where the other one was yugioh.tcgplayer.com. So, and I'll, I'll give you guys some links to this stuff in the description below. But the first thing I'm going to do is I want to look up the information um, about um, a, a certain card. I, I want to get some prices. So let's talk about uh, High Priestess of Prophecy. Um, oh. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm starting to type High Priestess. But if you see that I, you're, we're getting some cards that aren't even Yu-Gi-Oh. If you look at the the right, it says Magic the Gathering. Switch it back to Yu-Gi-Oh. And as you go back to type, High Priestess will come up. So I can click that and it'll auto-complete it. So we have a, a, a handful of stores here that are all selling High Priestess of Prophecy. These uh, stores are actual stores you can, uh, if you just copy and paste uh, their names into Google, you can probably get their actual site if you wanted to buy from them. Sometimes they offer coupon codes and shipping discounts, uh, so that's kind of neat. But one of the things that I really like about this is it does sample prices, um, tells you whose shipping is included, gives you super shipping, uh, which is a, a TCG player uh, bonus. And if you buy so much uh, through TCG player from any of these stores, uh, and you buy enough from that seller, they give you a discount. It's kind of neat. Um, but it gives you a good sampling. Where I want to go with this is I want to use uh, this as a, as a range to be able to talk about where I buy cards. So um, I don't really like TCGplayer.com, and I don't really like buying from from certain sites. Like some of these sites that has listed like super games I've had great, great uh, experiences with. Hot Sauce I love. Alter Reality I love. Core TCG, I like, they're okay. Um, Ideal's okay, they're just a little far, they're in Hawaii. Um, those are the ones out of those that I I can just pick off the bat that I like. I, I dislike Troll and Toad. Um, again, I don't want to get into any reasons, I don't want to sit here and slam or promote any stores that, again, nobody pays me to just say that or do that. I just, those are stores I've had good experiences with. Again, one bad experience could throw all that out the window, so take that with a grain of salt. I know plenty of pl people have gripes with all of the stores, and pen plenty of people love all the stores, so. But where I go is I actually buy cards on eBay. Um, and why I buy on eBay is I find that it's um, a better determiner of price. People say, well, it changes all the time, so that's not a good determinant of price, and I think that's the best determiner of price. Remember that what we're talking about is a changing card game in a changing market. Uh, it's like stocks. So, similarly, um, Yu-Gi-Oh cards' prices, as they become more popular or less popular, should change. Um, this is why I don't like fixed prices like Amazon. Um, TCG Player uh, represents this a little better. But things like Amazon are terrible places. I don't even. I'm not even going to talk about Amazon.com. Um, not really, anyway. So what I'm going to talk about is uh, eBay for a little while. There's tons of misinformation uh, about eBay, and I think over the past three to four years, eBay has gone leaps and bounds 
uh, in terms of uh, buyer protection and buyer safety. It is better to be a buyer on eBay than a seller. Uh, talk to any person who sells on eBay, they'll tell you that. Um, it's, it's how strict they've gotten. Um, so if you're a buyer on eBay, you're, you're pretty safe. So let me talk, let's uh, first off, let's look up High Priestess again and try to buy one. Uh, I'm not actually buying one, I'm just going to use this as an example. So High Priestess of Prophecy. We're going to get a ton of information thrown at us right off the bat. We have all the stuff on the left, all the stuff at the top. But I'm going to help you uh, find just what you need. So first thing is, uh, let's say I want to buy it right now. We have an option buy it now this is called a fixed listing uh, the other one is called an auction listing so auction listing is essentially just what it sounds like an auction you bid and the highest bidder wins the item a fixed listing is more like buying online there's so many items and you buy it and you're committed to buying it you pay for the item and they send you the item so we're gonna go with buy it now next we're gonna go pluck Price uh, plus lowest plus shipping lowest first. I was misreading all that, and then we're gonna start getting some more information. The first thing we're gonna start seeing are things that are three net four three forty nine with ninety nine cent shipping and etc etc. These are not Yu Gi Oh cards. Uh, it says High Priest of Prophecy, Orca Super Hollow, Orca's Anime Yu Gi Oh. <sighs> this is not a Yu Gi Oh card. These are Orcas. Orca means uh, original card, um, and really what it is, is it's just a fake card. It's a smutty fake card that's made to look like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Uh, they poor art, the foiling is usually done terribly. Um, they have the text of a card. I despise these, I think they're stupid, I think they're a waste of money, and I think that they're misleading to players uh, who think they can use them. Uh, and I think they're in poor taste 80% of the time. Uh, generally, they're, you know, I I'm a fairly free-thinking, open-minded guy, but they get weird. Um, they just become a little too, too much, <laughs> especially when we get in the topic of female characters. That's, I, that's why I picked Priestess for this one, because I knew there'd be examples of it. Um, same thing goes for like Dark Magician Girl and stuff. It just it gets to be a little much. So past that, we see some sleeves. That's not what we want. Then we start seeing uh, Japanese cards, and um, obviously we can't use Japanese cards in the TCG, um, so we'll go buy those. And then we see this thing. Uh, this is uh, twenty dollars with three forty shipping, and we see you get one High Priestess of Prophecy, Return of the Duelist first, or ten Hollow Foils Grab Bag. Three question marks. I guess they're asking me if it's Grab Bag. Um, and I, this is another one of those. This is what we call a scam. So, it's not telling you you're buying the priestess. It's telling you you have a chance to buy a priestess. And if it sounds weird, it's because it is weird. Um, what it means, says is the winner of this, the winner will receive the card stated in the title. Uh, it gives all the information about priestess. Or, you will receive 10 holofoils, mixture of any super, gold, ultra, ultimate, secret, or ghost rares. I need to clear my collection of cards quickly, so this is why it's a Yu-Gi-Oh lot. Here's some ratios that are not real. Um, the buyer does not get to choose. Do not bid or buy unless you agree. No unhappy buyers who don't get it. Uh, lucky bidders. This is all... Um, this is actually against um, eBay policy. These aren't supposed to exist. Uh, they are not allowed. Uh, they exist everywhere, and unfortunately, eBay does not have nearly enough time to comb through these and take them all out. Um, so you're going to see tons of them. This is really not on eBay's radar in terms of scam items. They're generally looking for things that are more illegal rather than things that are just in violation of the terms and policies. However, if you buy it, you're shit out of luck. Um, you don't get your money back for getting scammed out of one of these because you did know that this was going to happen. Um, another way you can find this out is if you go into their feedback, you can see all sorts of nasty feedback that people leave. Um, still haven't received it. Don't think it was sent. Misleading item. Unhappy. Item was a lot, but not advertised like one. The picture of the card was used. Terrible buy. Was told my money's worth in nowhere near. Fell for an obvious scam. Unethical. Horrible seller. Null. 
somebody wrote back something mean. Um, horrible service, don't recommend, all that stuff. This is a scam, don't fall for it. They won't get your money back on this one. Most things eBay will get your money back on uh, if, you get, if you get screwed out of it, but not if you don't read. You have to read everything, the description, everything. Find a loophole, because if it's there, they will use it. There are some nasty people on eBay. So let's get back to actual items. Uh, so we see a couple more Japanese ones, and then we're going to start seeing real ones. Um, this is a real listing for a priestess. So we see $43.99, free shipping, always a good thing, uh, out of somebody from Indiana. We see today for auction, we have one unlimited High Priestess of Prophecy, USA shipping only. So it means if you are in the US, you can buy this. If not, please don't bid on it, is really what he's saying. Uh, card will be mailed in a bubble mailer with confirmation number. That really just means tracking number. Uh, you can check that stuff on USPS's website. Um, card is mint to near mint condition, never played. Um, just a quick thing on condition, guys. Um, there is no such thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! unless it is a uh, a graded, so professionally graded item. It is not mint. Um, that's just a nitpick I have. I always list my cards as near mint. Uh, it is as close to mint as they can get without being graded, meaning that they are not damaged in any single way, uh, and they are basically perfect, but I will not have them professionally graded. Almost all cards are not, but that's just a nitpick worth pointing out. So if you see something saying near mint, it is as close to mint as it's getting, and the seller knows it. So this person says mint to near mint, that's still technically correct. Um, they're saying it's it's never played as well, so you get it. Um, they have a picture of it that doesn't necessarily mean that it's theirs, it's just it's a good indication, but it's not. In today's day and age of copy paste off Google, it's not really, doesn't really stick for much. And you can also see in their feedback, you can just click the number next to their little star, next to their username. You can see this person has had some, doesn't have a ton of dealings, but everyone that they've ever had went over pretty well. On something like this, if the seller didn't send you the item for any reason or it came damaged, um, you could open up an eBay case under eBay buyer protection. So everything right here says guarantee eBay buyer protection. Learn more. Get the item you ordered or get your money back guaranteed. This is true and it's very helpful. Keep in mind, you should, uh, if you're making an eBay account, always always make it a PayPal account. Guys, PayPal's too good. It, it really is that helpful. Uh, they, they're, they're really good. I've been able to, I've had a few issues um, in the past with money and stuff with PayPal, and, and they've, they've sorted it out really nicely, um, and they made it pretty decent. Um, yes, there are fees with PayPal, and there, yes, there are fees with um eBay if you're if you're selling but you know what guys it's a safer better way of, of dealing so again you have to be your own advocate on the stuff and you have to go with the better the better offer so in this case what we're gonna talk about is uh, eBay buyer support you can open up a case um, and essentially it'll just basically notify the buyer saying listen sorry the seller and say something something went wrong um, you need to solve this and if they don't solve it uh, eBay can escalate it and, and step in and say okay we'll mediate this ourselves um, you do this, you do that. A lot of times is, let's say, if uh, they sent that priestess to me and it was damaged, uh, they eBay would send me a tracking number, a little packing slip off from UPS, and I would repack the item and send it back. And when they received a uh, notification that it arrived, they would just refund me, and that would be the end of it. Uh, if it, you know, if they failed to ever send it at all, and there's no, there's no item at all, there's just a refund. There's all sorts of different directions that can go. Um, you know, just keep yourself honest, uh, and work within the rules and generally everything works. Uh, and if it doesn't, eBay, you know, eBay backs you up on it and, and, uh, they're pretty great about it. I will, I will say, um, something like this, they're not going to help you. Something like this, they will. And it's one of the reasons I don't really buy all too much, um, from, from stores because let's say I go on Troll and Toad's website. And I, I get a high priestess. Hope if I could actually type high priestess right. Let's see, we have these for fifty-five dollars. 
If I buy one, right? And it shows up creased or, or dinged or anything. Do you know who I go to? I go to Troll and Toad. And let's say they disagree and they say, oh, no, 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 all of them were men we saw. And even though it's not, it's my word against theirs and they're the ones holding the money. Um, if I remember correctly, Toronto doesn't even take PayPal, so you can't even make a claim through there. Um, I don't, there's some sites I just simply don't like. I don't like the way they deal. I don't like the way they, they work with people and their customers. I think their customer service is piss poor and I, I have that, I have that attitude about some stores. Um, and then I have the exact opposite attitude about many stores where I just think they're great and I think that they work hard, uh, and they understand the buyer and that's important. Um, so you have to be careful guys. You just, you have to be careful with what you're buying. It's your money. Uh, and there are people out there to get it. Some of those people want to sell you an item that you want and they want to do it the fair way. And other people would rather do it the unfair way. It's up to you who you're going to play to. Um, but you guys have to be the ones who, who sit down and say, you know, I, I'm going to read into this. I'm going to look at it. Or, nope, I'm just going to be a really hasty buyer. And, oh, that looks like a really good deal. You know, $20 for a priestess. That, that sounds great. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. And, and you're going to fall for a scam. And, and you're, and you're going to be out of your money. It, it's going to happen. So take the time read what you're doing, look it over, um, ask questions, always be skeptical, and be ready to walk away. If you have to walk away, be ready to walk away. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about is people mentioned to me Amazon.com. There's a reason I don't like Amazon. Um, it is not a good tell of price. So let's say I type in High Priestess here. Oops. There we go. Then click. So we got High Priestess of Prophecy. Hmm. Here we go. Um, so that was just a random, there was a review of the card, not a review of the customer service. So I was hoping that was a review of customer service. So we got one for 45 right here. Here's the problem. Amazon does not require tracking. That's not something that they actually like to talk about. They don't require tracking. So whoever this cheapest trading cards could be, um, they don't check into seeing if it's a store or not. It can just be a seller. Um, I've had this issue with buying products from any from of any kind from off Amazon. So what ends up happening is they don't require them to send tracking. Um, and if you don't get the item. It's a really long, drawn-out process where eBay is a very quick, fast-paced process that holds the seller accountable very quickly. Uh, Amazon's very pokey about it, and um, I'm not really, I'm not really uh, confident in, in in their customer service. Uh, they're they're really what Amazon is is just like what TCG Player is. It is a collective of smaller sellers. This isn't Amazon selling this item. It is cheapest trading card selling this item. They're just using Amazon as a medium uh, and uh, to sell their items. It, it's no better than eBay. And honestly, I find eBay to be faster, more reliable, and they hold their sellers uh, to a much, much stricter standard uh, than Amazon or any of these other sites. TCG Player isn't going to go try to get your money back for you if something screws you. Um, they have a buyer safeguard. I, the problem is that when, when you're dealing with some of these sellers, um, the lack of, of it being one unified site um, comes into play very quickly. Trust me when I say that. I like it. I like eBay. Um, I can get sleeves. I can get all sorts of different stuff uh, that I need on eBay, and I can pay all on PayPal. And again, I am a huge fan of PayPal. And I think if you know you guys, you know, try it, you will be too. Um, I'll be uh, monitoring the comments on this just in case any of you guys have questions or you know want to know anything about uh, buying, selling. Um, generally, buying questions, please. Uh, I I don't really want to be coaching people on how to sell things. Uh, that's an entirely different ballgame that I'm not entirely sure that I I should or would speak on. Um, but if any of you guys have questions about safe buying techniques, better sites. 
if I have any preferences or anything. Uh, again, this isn't a rally. This isn't me saying certain sites suck, certain stores suck, some sites are great, certain stores are great. Everybody has a bias. Um, me being on YouTube, I, I, I just don't want to be... I don't want to be that guy who, who bashes anybody. There's certain sites, again, I don't like. I use Troll and Shoot as an example. That isn't... I'm not saying that they would do something like that. That's all I'm saying. Like, th that wasn't me making a claim about Troll and Toad's customer service anyway. I don't know. I, I haven't really had any dealings with them. I, I have a couple times and I just, I prefer to shop elsewhere. That's just how I am. But I have the same feelings about Amazon. So, some of you guys have had great experiences with Amazon and Troll and Toad. So, again, everybody has their own and to each their own. But if you guys have any questions for me, um, anything, uh, again, I'll be monitoring the comments. Um, so if you have any, if you have any inquiries about, you know, pricing, you know, when to buy cards, you know, how, how to buy cards, what are good, you know, opportunities, how to avoid getting scammed, uh, basic things like that, not like what would you invest in or something. So, all right, guys, uh, again, uh, I'll help you as best I can on it. Um, and as always like comment, subscribe and keep doing America.